Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace and today I have a very special guest with me. Hey guys, I'm Nick. I'm Grace's fiance and I help Grace design her custom engagement ring. So we're gonna talk all about how we did that together. Just keep on watching. So last July, Grace and I started looking into engagement rings. We were walking around the mall, we were looking online, looking at different shops, and nothing was really speaking to us. We ended up stumbling across this tiny little shop here in Philadelphia, this little jewelry store, and we started talking to the jeweler. And Grace told him that I'm a professional artist. So he said, well, why don't you guys do custom? And at first we didn't even think that was within the realm of possibilities or within our budget or anything. And it turns out it was. So once we decided that we were in fact going to do a custom engagement ring, we just sat down together and pulled some of my favorite reference and he got to working on like our five top best ideas. And from those ideas, we came up with the final product and I'll put, a, put that up on the screen right now for you to see the end result. We had so much fun creating this together and I think the end result turned out better than we could have ever imagined. So we'd highly recommend doing a custom ring, but there's a few things that you'd want to keep in mind and we're going to share with you some of the biggest things that we learned through the process. So tip number one is you want to have some ideas in mind before you start your design process. We were working off of Grace's Pinterest board that she had been working on for I don't know how long. <laughs> Years. 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 So I also want to say that if you're not going to be working with your future fiance on designing the ring, then you should probably hit up maybe her best friend and mm -hmm. see if her best friend knows of any secret Pinterest boards or, you know, knows her style a little yeah. bit better. Mm -hmm. um, the second thing I want to mention as well is that you do not have to be an artist to be able to design a custom ring. The jeweler will be more than confident in helping you with this process and you can either hand them some really, really rough sketches or just, you know, hand them some references and they should be able to work with you. Just know that the, the jeweler will be able to help you with making sure that your sketches or ideas are going to be structurally sound. So our second tip is to do your research, and this goes even if you're not doing a custom engagement ring, it is really, really important to educate yourself on diamonds, diamond shapes, color, clarity, all that good stuff, and also to educate yourself on the different styles and metals. That way you really know what you're working with, and it's just really good practice to know what you're buying. The other thing is you're gonna wanna determine what shape you want your diamond, and that will really depend on um, your, your individual taste and also your fiance's individual taste. So I would really look out for, if you're getting reference from Pinterest of your fiance's Pinterest board, I would definitely keep an eye out for trends of their favorite diamond shapes. And that's gonna really dictate the overall shape and style of the ring. So I would really pay attention to that. Remember that the shape of the diamond is very important for the overall design. You want to make sure that your fiance is going to be happy with that sort of style. And I'm sure she has something in particular that she's drawn to. I'll link a few websites and videos below for things that we use to educate ourselves on the whole process and knowing what we were getting. All right, so tip number three is that you want to make sure you're finding the right designer or jeweler. So there's two different types of actual processes for making a ring. And the first is working with a designer that will make a 3D model in a program and actually digitally print a wax mold, which will then go towards the metal casting. The second approach is traditional hand carving of a wax mold, which then gets turned into you know, the, the final ring. You want to make sure that you're working with somebody that you really, really trust because this is the person that is going to be making a piece for you that you will have the rest of your life. We ended up finding this jeweler called Mark's Jewelers in Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania, and we absolutely loved everything about them. As soon as we walked in, a person greeted us. There was a bar over to the left, and the coolest part was that there's these giant open windows where you can look in and see the, the metalsmiths actually like putting the rings together. So we met with our um, designer, Katie, and she kind of ran us through the process. She showed us all of the 3D printers and her studio where she where she puts the 3D model together and everything. And it was really, really cool. It was cool. amazing. It was such a great experience. And we loved working with Katie. 
Um, so if you're, you know, this isn't sponsored, but if you're, you know, if you live in Philadelphia and you're doing a custom ring, I highly recommend going to Mark's Jewelers and asking for Katie. Tip number four is to be completely upfront and transparent about your budget. That is probably the most important tip here because these things are not cheap and you want to make sure that you're getting exactly what you want without completely overspending. And I actually found that doing the custom route actually saved us some money. We were able to fit completely in our budget with exactly what we wanted and it was just the perfect outcome. Leading into that, it's also really important to get all the information from your jeweler about the timeline because making a custom ring is going to take a little bit longer than doing like a preset um, diamond ring. That way, you know, you know when you're going to be able to propose and ours was still a surprise, believe it or not. And <laughs> I, I knew about the ring. I knew, you know, what it was going to look like, but it, it was all still a surprise. So that was really great. All in all, the whole process took about two months from the first day that we brought in our design and our center stone to the day we took the ring home was about two months. That's going to change though very dramatically depending on where you go and have your custom ring made. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that it was really helpful. We're happy to answer any of your questions down in the comments down below. Also let us know if you want us to film a proposal video because it was pretty epic. Here's a little hint, it was on an island in Greece. Yes, so it was. very, very cool. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for watching and yeah, until next time. We're gonna have a lot of bloopers. Yeah. Roll the bloopers! <laughs> Speaking to us, um, I think we wanted something a little bit more unique and. <laughs> sorry. Are you, oh my god. Why are you laughing at me? I don't know, I'm so sorry. Is it because I'm because... putting on my, like. Yeah, your like, big boy hat? My art bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be, okay, like, sorry, engaging. Okay. <clears throat> okay. This is still take six. Okay. My mommy made me mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm literally crying. Oh my god, please don't ever do that again. <laughs> no. Oh my god, wait, no, I need to like fix my makeup. <laughs> you gotta pull it together. I am. Okay, now I'm sweating though. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got this. Okay. <laughs> <right>, stop. <laughs> I mean, you gotta stop. <laughs>